Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel like chemistry. So in update version 394, we got a new and updated dive coaster and hydraulic launch coaster. The old hydraulic launch and dive are now regarded as legacy and can be viewed via the settings menu. Also, for some reason, the UIs have changed uh, when deleting a ride or performing a few other actions. Some are changed to not have a border and some aren't. Going forward, the ride operations panel for track rides can now be changed to more precise increments which is actually very useful as it allows us to make things very accurate for recreations and other things. As I don't know if this is new, but the colors on the color palette pop out whenever you hover over it, so don't quote me on that. Now for the dive. It was a highly requested coaster model to be updated and it was well worth the wait. The trains are incredibly detailed and feature the old generation beat numbers range. Each car has six seats across, and I would like to see Dennis could add a feature where you could choose a number between six and ten, being how many seats you want per row. That would allow you to make some larger dive coasters like Shikra, Oblivion, and Griffin. The dive coaster also features moving platforms. And for the hydraulic launch coaster, the trains are very detailed and feature the intimate hard straps or restraints. The trains are almost identical to King Dakar, but feature two rows in the final car instead of one. The brakes and trains look hyper-realistic, and the catch car on the launch track even moves forward with the train, and comes all the way back when the train has rolled over the launch track. Now here are two POVs of the coasters that I made. They have been made specifically for this video, and I'll be doing a separate tutorial for each ride coming in the future. Personality, everything you do, it's me love, everything about you. I trust in you 